New tonight, a local Tri-State College has just added a new sport to its athletic department. And this sport has a fan base almost equal to the National Football League. It's called eSports. It's competitive gaming, which is the fastest growing recreation in the world and now on college campuses. Our own KHQA Michael Blargy joins us live from the KHQA newsroom with more on this new collegiate sport. Michael? David, just like you mentioned, it's called eSports, and most of you have probably already heard of it. But if not, no need to worry. It's simple. It involves a remote control such as this one in a gaming system like this Xbox. But believe it or not, students can now go to school to play video games at a collegiate level. Illinois College in Jacksonville has already thrown its name in the hat for eSports in the college world. It's here at the computer source in Macomb where recent high school graduates Zach Yeah, I'm going to McKendree University and Jared History education to become a uh, history teacher duel in a game of Smash Brothers. <laughs> For Jared, gaming started at the age of three when his dad first bought a Nintendo Entertainment System. I just played one of, one of the games, it was Super Mario Brothers, and it just captivated me. He's been hooked on gaming ever since, but to play in college has always been an idea. I've thought about it every once in a while, yeah. I, I, would definitely do it. If I can play my favorite games for a college or something, like that would be phenomenal. That idea can now come to life here at Illinois College. Our program specifically, uh, you know, we're looking to be competitive. Christian Matlock is the eSports head coach. He was in the professional gaming world with a team known as Allegiance. I didn't play, I was in the management side. Matlock says the goal is to help people realize eSports is just like other sports. Really putting that on repetition and, and doing what needs to be done to, to be great. He says competitive gaming teaches students critical thinking, work ethic, and teamwork, <laughs> among other concepts. A few areas which are crucial for life after college. There's a whole bunch of different career opportunities and this industry is just getting bigger and bigger. And the only requirement for eSports is love for gaming. If it's just more easily accessible to everybody, that's just more people playing, that's more people experiencing the same thing I have and I think that's awesome. Now as you can see on the screen, FIFA is my favorite game to play on Xbox. But Metlock says students will play League of Legends for now and hopefully venture off into other games as the program moves on. But get this, he says students will be available to earn scholarships worth up to $20,000. Live in the newsroom, Michael Polarchi, KHQA News.